Quick, quick now. Your goal is near. Almost there. Your 
goal is near. Successful, my friend. I've the fragments fit together. What does it say? Sorry. Khajiit and their riddles. But when I said Kunzari's name. <laughs> this really be the tomb of Kunzari? Sarcophagus. A ghostly cat. You see it too, my friend? Zar thought we would meet much sooner, dearest friend. Anequina always was too clever with her connotations, yes? Still, you are here now, and we have some small span of time to stop the rise of the Dark Aeon. Do not make Zar blush, dear friend. Legendary certainly fits, illustrious even. But mythic, that's a little much, yes? This one is who you say, the luminous lion of elsewhere, the John Light Junter, and the imprisoner of dragons, Kunzari. Apologies. It was much more grand when Zar's tales were widely told. As for why Zar has awakened, well, how could this one sleep with all the noise the dragons make? Calgrantid and his brood always were too rambunctious, yes? Oh no, dear friend. Zar's tales have all been told. As this one explained to Jadari long ago, it is time to sing the song of a new hero. Zar can lend you a bit of his experience, however. This one can tell you about a secret path to Dragonhold. You do not expect Zar to draw you a map, do you? 
Where is the fun in that? No, the tale must be relished. The adventure experienced. That is the way of momentous events. Take my claw and present it to the scion of Inequina. Just mind the skull. The brave and beautiful Kajiti Queen. Anequina's blood courses through her sleek and fragrant form. Give her Zar's claw. She will know what to do with it when she sees it. A rib, a femur, but a claw is least cumbersome. Do not look so surprised. The remains of a Kajiti legend hold great power. Power the sign of an Equina can use to walk the Joan Light path. Clever. You made Zar say more than he meant to. Well done. You do not expect Zar to draw you a map, do you? Where is... Take Zar's claw to the Inequina of this age. She can use it to get your Krajun to Dragonhold. Now, accept this fine gift. A quick path back to your Krajun. That is where this story truly begins. All this way for the remains of a legend? I hope Queen Chimera knows what to do with it. Into the bay. Really? I think the ghost cat did that on purpose. That contentious Bring the claw to Queen Demir right. while I rally the dragon. I've grown. Did you and Sai Sahan find the hidden door? Tell me, my friend. What did you find behind the hidden door? Do we have a way to reach Dragonhold? Truly, Five Claw? Bright moons. What did you find inside? A weapon? A tomb? Something even more magnificent. His claw? And this will help us reach Dragonhold and put an end to Kalgrontid? Well, if Kunzari's spirit insisted. It is a claw. That is definite. I will study it, search Anequina's memories. It must have a purpose, even if the meaning initially eludes me. Did Kunzari say anything else, Five Claw? The Joan Light Path? Hmm. I have never heard of such a thing, but it does sound promising. Not yet. But I will study the claw and search my memories. Let the attunement guide me. The answer will come. I just need some time. Go, find Sai Sahan, and make sure the Dragon Guard is ready to proceed. If this Calgrantid actually exists, how can either the Shields or the Dragon God hope to stand against it? Just trust us, Father. I swear we won't let you down. General Renless and the Shields will protect Senchon. If we can't assault Dragonhold, we'll direct our efforts to supporting the Shields. As Queen Chimera solved our transportation issue, 
The Dragon Guard is eager to at long last take the battle to Calgrantid. Despite our past differences, the General did come through when we needed him. I extended an invitation and he decided to accept. Of course, he mostly came to find out what we could tell him about the floating island. General Renmus wishes us success in our mission, but he won't leave Sential undefended. It falls to the Dragon Guard to assault Calgrantid's stronghold. The General's forces will remain in reserve, protecting the city and ready to act if we fail. Fyclaw, I think I know what to do with Kunzari's claw. Fyclaw, I think I understand. I can draw upon the power of the claw to open a portal to the Drone Light Path. I think I can do this, yes. That is the part I have not fully worked out yet. But in Anequina's memories, I saw a place between places full of moonlight and stars. We must walk the Jonelight Path, just as Anequina, Kunzari, and the Krajun did in the ancient past. No, Five Claw. Without Tarn to guide me, I do not want to risk all of our eggs in this particular basket. The Dragon Guard will remain in reserve. Let them defend Senshal. Then, if we fail, it will be up to them to stop Calgrontid. You are Five Claw. You and Sai Sahan. We are Krajun, a company of heroes. Together, we will walk the Joan Light Path and see where fate takes us. Trust me, my friend. This is what the three of us must do. Dragon Guard, defend Senshal until you hear from us. Five Claw, Sai, with me. Enter the portal. Welcome, dear friends, to the Joan Light Path, where heroes such as we can climb the liminal forces that bind each here, ever and ever. Kunzari! Oh, please, blood of my beloved. To his friends, this one is simply Zar. Now, Cross the Joan Light Path and make your way to Dragonhold. The Joan Light Path. Magnificent, yes? It was here that the most legendary Khajiit learned to cross vast distances in a short amount of time. The quickest way to reach the unreachable. Dangerous without an experienced guide. Luckily, you have Zar. Zar can go anywhere, yes. You? No, not so much. Between the two of us, only Kunzari has heard Azura's whispers and climbed the Forbidden Tree. But this one will show you how to reach Dragonhold. Now, hurry along before your heart bursts apart. Or your soul will be torn asunder. Only Azura's swiftest champions can survive in this between place for very long. Why? Uh, who can say? Azura keeps certain secrets even from her favorites. Now, step lively upon the moonlight and be quick. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Such a wonder. Mind the gaps between the stars, dear friends. Zar will feel terrible if any of you fall. This place 
sin that goes on forever. So many islands, but no way to reach them. The end is near, dear friends. You can almost smell Calgrontid's stench from here. This is the spot where the liminal of here touches the liminal of there. Yes, Tsar breaks his own rules. It is his nature, yes? Through this portal awaits the end of a tale that started long ago. Moons guide you, dear friends. Portals. Enter first and emerge last. Even time refuses to work correctly around such magic. Come. Queen Kamira and Nephilar are up ahead. What began in Anequina ends in the sky over Pelotin. I sense... power. A vast supply, building like a storm at the island's heart. Calgrontid is close to achieving his terrible goal. Luckily, Nafalar had the foresight to meet us here. Hrrm. I have a guess. Nafalar tells us that there are focal points, Aeon Stones placed at key locations around the island. If we can disrupt the flow of energy through these focal points, it may stop Calgrontid's ascension ritual. If Abner Tharn was with us, he would have a magical solution. In his absence, I see only one clear path. We must destroy the Aeon Stones that make up the focal points. I doubt Calgrontid has left them undefended. Be prepared for a fight, Five Claw. Mask Bearer. Don the mask of Alkash and fill it with the energy of the creatures of Dark Aeon. It will protect you and the others from my fire. Spirits of Dark Aeon to fight for him. 
between them and the remaining cultists, we're certainly working up a sweat. Our efforts have displeased Count Grantid. Good. Then let us press the advantage while we have it. be part of the complex you explored with Tharn. If Tharn still lives, he could have taken refuge inside. We'll find him, Queen Chimera. I've seen Tharn survive worse things than a floating island. Moons help him, but I suspect Tharn has more to worry about than the floating island.
focal point should be just up ahead. was the last of the focal points. Now, to deal with Calgrontid. As you say. By the moons! Late Is again. Tarn? How typical. I had a feeling that you were behind the disruption of the other focal points. Figured I'd help by taking out this last one. Ever the voice of support and tact. Considering the circumstances, I could be worse. Unfortunately, I believe we solved one problem and created another. To safely absorb all that energy, Calgronti needed the focal points. As close as he is to his ascension, safety will be the furthest thing from his mind. If he proceeds with his ascension, and makes even the slightest mistake. If Calgronti tries to ascend without the focal points, he could unleash all that pent-up energy. The resulting blast would destroy elsewhere. Perhaps all of Tamriel. You worry more than a Norse nursemaid. To the center of the island. It's time to end this. I ran. Dodged falling bricks and leapt over collapsing floors. Made my way to the surface. Only to find we were a league or more in the sky. I did what any proper battle mage would do. I hid. As you can see, I'm in no condition to take on Calgrontid by myself. So I watched and waited. How did you get back here, by the way? Of course he did. If we survive this, you can explain that to me later. Now, let's go try and kill that damn dragon. Don't concern yourself about me. Just remember, 
Calgrontide is perched atop a gigantic shard of Aeon Stone that pulses with enough power to destroy the continent. Concentrate on the task at hand. That door, Calgrontid is through there. Before we enter. I'll cast spheres of protection upon the trap.
If that Aeon Stone shatters, Tamriel is doomed. No, my friend. This task requires a dragon and a battle mage. Take Kamira and Saisahan. Find a way out of here. Nafala and I will contain the explosion. And we have accomplished amazing things. But this, this isn't something you can help me with. Save the others. I need to reach that crystal before it explodes. I prepared for a moment such as this. I insist that you trust me this one last time. If this is goodbye, my friend, it has been a privilege. I will do what I can. Get them out of here, Kamira. I know you. Tell us. I will put all this Save Harry. Finally awake, I see. Come, stand with me, Five Claw. Tarn was a better teacher than I gave him credit for. When I needed to do it, I was able to open a portal. The island, it exploded, but the blast spread no farther. Tarn did it. Elsewhere is safe. I know, Five Claw. I know. I did not like the man, but I came to respect him. In the end, he was part of my family. We will honor his memory and his sacrifice. I will see to it personally. Sai went back to the Dragon Guard Sanctum to check on the others. As for Nafalar, I do not know. He was on Dragonhold helping Tarn. We can only hope. The Dragon Guard, they did so much. And you, always my champion. My words, they are not enough, yes? You have done so much for my homeland. For me. Go to the Dragon Guard Sanctum. Meet with the others. I wish to stay here a while longer. I will find you when I return. All of this makes one think about the past. I lost my family. I lost good friends. I nearly lost my homeland. But we persevered. Before I met you, there was something else I lost, though. I did not realize it. Something that you returned to me. Hope. No matter what we faced, no matter the danger, you never gave up. You never gave in. You taught me such a valuable lesson. You and Tarn both. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> 